Yeah, I mean, um, in the change room, everything that could have gone wrong <laughs> went wrong. I hurt my hand, my soul was coming off my boot, and I thought, it didn't matter. I'm ripping it off no matter what it takes. So, yeah, thanks, credit to Ben. Since I've been uh, with Ben, not even a year yet, um, completely changed me as a fighter, and I owe it to him and Lee Wiley as well, and Barry, and the rest of the guys down in particular performance center. Well, Ben, let's discuss that then. Come a little bit forward, forward because you're a young trainer, obviously, and, and, and you probably want to be a bit modest about this, but you have to take credit for that performance where it's due, right? The fighters are the ones that, that go in there and do it. We just help him unlock his tools. I always explain it like a toolbox, and it's just about selecting the right tools for, for the job. You don't get to British title level and that level there without having a good toolbox. So mm. it's just about selecting the right tools for the job. And uh, myself, Lee Wiley, Barry, you know, we all, we all spend a lot of time making sure the lads get it right. And we knew going into this fight that Lee had it bang on. Tell us about it then. How difficult was it out there? I mean, I got a lot more, a lot more gears, but it's a very good fight. There's times I had to dig deep. Um, and everyone said, tough. very oh tough. My God. I never anyone so clean so often and still win there. And we knew that it was there to be here. It was about discipline, not getting carried away. Everyone said, there's no way you're going to beat him on points. Not only did I nearly beat him on points, I stopped him in the vital championship rounds after a hard, hard paced fight. Um, but yeah, credit to him. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy this moment. It's my birthday in an hour, so uh, big celebrations. <laughs> We've got to sing happy birthday again. It's the second one tonight, isn't it? Lee, to, to finish it off the way that you did as well, we could see how emotional it was, but oh, look, they've already started singing it to you. <laughs> Do you want to help? Go on, David. <laughs> Take a happy birthday, Lee. Listen, to, to finish it off in the way that you did, to dig that deep for that sort of champagne finish, I mean, it's sensational for us to watch, but it must make it extra special. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> Like I said, it's my birthday soon. I only had six weeks notice for that fight. Luckily, I live, uh, I live the life as a professional fighter. I managed to get to where I needed to get to in six weeks. But in 12 weeks, I, know, I believe I can have even more gears and a better performance. I really want to test myself and mix it with other champions now. Um, you know, I'm 33 in an hour. No time to miss about. Let's get some big fights. Well, let's find out about that then. Eddie Hearn, let's bring you in because obviously there'll be a vested interest in what's happening next week. We spoke earlier on about what a win might do for Lee and how many doors it could open. So you can tell us oh, it's, more. It's honestly life changing. Life changing. I mean, that was an incredible performance. You know, I, I want to see the scorecards because there's some strange scores on, online. Really was, you know, for me, I've struggled to give Kanzu more than three rounds, yeah, you know, in, sure. in the whole fight. And I thought he was, Lee was brilliant, but to get that stoppage was a real statement. You know, next week we got another fantastic world championship fight in the featherweight division between Kid Galahad and Jazza Dickens. Lee will look at that. You know, we got a, a shot of the world title tonight. Kanzu can get that rematch. I can't see him wanting it in a million years. Wasn't even a close fight. Um, for me, I love the Santa Cruz fight for, for Leewood. There's Navarrete. 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 And you know what? Yeah, Nottingham, you know, for a long time, Nottingham had been crying out for another big fighter. You know, Carl Froch won the world title. He was a big draw there. We did the Butte fight. Lee Wood can go back there, a real hero. You know, that was a wonderful performance. And, you know, Ben deserves a lot of credit for not just giving him, as he said, the, the tactics, but also the belief. You know, Lee Wood really has done it the hard way. You know, he's boxed on small hall shows. He's taken fights probably for poor money. He shouldn't have. He took a chance tonight. You know, really, I mean, it was a late notice fight. You know, he just said, oh, this is my moment. This is my chance. And it's all about grabbing the moment at the right time. He did it tonight. He's become world champion. And he has. He's changed his life tonight. And it's just a brilliant story for British boxing. You heard it there. Lots of opportunity for you, Lee. Which is the one that you want? What do you want? I want the biggest one. I want the biggest fight. I want to test myself. I said last year, there's three things I want to do in my career. Win the British title, box ticked, hopefully box one, hopefully win a world title, box ticked. There's only one, one thing left to do, and that's be the first person to headline at the city ground. I'm not sure it's going to line up, but um, if there's anyone that can make it happen, it's this guy here. <laughs> Lee, a massive congratulations. Happy birthday for an hour's Thank time you. as well. You've done everyone proud. Well done, Lee. Well done to your team as well, especially you, Ben. Thank you so much. Maya, Thank back you. to you.